Korean companies are creating human bodies so realistic, they'll leave you shocked. From lifelike silicone prosthetic hands and carbon fiber legs to mannequins that look almost alive, this blend of art and technology is pushing boundaries. How close can machines get to being human? Stick around. What you're about to see will blow your mind. Artificial Eye The creation of an artificial eye, or ocular prosthesis, is a careful blend of science and art that restores the appearance of an eye lost to injury or illness. The process begins with an ocularist, an expert who designs and fits prosthetic eyes, carefully assessing the patient's eye socket to understand its unique shape and size. To capture an exact impression, a soft molding material like alginate is gently placed into the socket. It quickly sets, creating a perfect mold that serves as a foundation for the artificial eye. From there, a wax model is crafted to ensure a comfortable and secure fit. The focus then shifts to the visible part of the eye. The ocularist selects an iris button that matches the size of the patient's natural iris and carefully hand paints it using oil paints. Tiny details like natural eye veins are recreated with silk threads to make the prosthesis look realistic. The final eye is created using medical-grade acrylic resin, cured for durability, and polished to achieve a natural shine. Once fitted, the artificial eye restores not just a person's physical appearance, but also their confidence and emotional well-being. Advances in technology continue to improve the lifelike quality of prosthetic eyes. Silicone Foot The creation of a silicone foot prosthesis is a detailed process that balances function with a lifelike appearance. In Korea, prosthetists like Kim Jong-hyun of Silobionic customize each prosthetic to meet the patient's specific needs. The journey begins with a consultation where the prosthetist listens to the patient's concerns and takes careful measurements of their residual limb. This step ensures that the prosthesis will fit perfectly and work effectively. A mold of the patient's limb is then created using plaster to capture its precise shape. Today, advanced tools like 3D scanning and computer-aided design CAD, are often used to improve accuracy. Matching the prosthesis to the patient's skin tone is just as important. Specialized devices can detect thousands of skin shades, allowing for a silicone covering that blends seamlessly with the patient's natural skin. The foot is carefully assembled using components like sockets and flexible joints that allow smooth, natural movement. Once the prosthesis is ready, the patient tries it on, and adjustments are made for comfort and alignment. With ongoing support and fine-tuning, these prostheses allow people to walk confidently restoring not only mobility, but also independence and quality of life. Silicone Arm The production of a silicone arm prosthesis in South Korea is a remarkable process, driven by advanced technology and thoughtful design. It begins with imaging techniques, such as CT or MRI scans, which capture the exact shape and size of the patient's residual limb. This data is essential for creating a prosthesis that fits comfortably and functions well. Engineers and prosthetists then use computer-aided design CAD software to build a digital model of the arm, ensuring a high degree of accuracy. Once the design is finalized, 3D printing technology is used to create molds or components for the arm. Liquid medical-grade silicone is poured into these molds and cured giving the prosthesis the flexibility and durability needed for everyday use. A significant focus is placed on making the prosthetic look as natural as possible. Skilled professionals match the patient's skin tone and texture with great attention to detail, ensuring the prosthesis blends seamlessly with their body. The final prosthetic arm is fitted to the patient, with careful adjustments made for comfort and ease of use. South Korea's use of advanced 3D printing technology enables faster production and personalized designs, helping individuals regain mobility, confidence, and a sense of normalcy in their lives. Production of Urethane Mannequins The production of urethane mannequins in Korean factories is a detailed process that blends artistry and modern manufacturing techniques. It begins with an artisan sculpting a prototype of the mannequin, often using clay or similar materials. This step is essential, as it allows for precision in capturing intricate details, serving as the foundation for the final product. Once the prototype is perfected, a mold is created using materials like silicone or fiberglass. This mold preserves the details of the sculpture and acts as the framework for shaping the urethane. The next step involves carefully preparing a specific blend of urethane components to ensure strength, durability, and a smooth finish. The liquid urethane mixture is then poured into the mold, filling every cavity to capture even the finest details. After curing under controlled conditions, the hardened urethane mannequin is carefully removed from the mold. Artisans smooth the surface through sanding, ensuring any imperfections are eliminated. 
A base coat is applied, and the mannequin is meticulously hand-painted to achieve a natural, lifelike look, including skin tones, facial features, or custom details like makeup and tattoos. If the mannequin consists of multiple parts, such as detachable limbs, these are securely assembled to allow for adjustable poses. Each piece undergoes rigorous quality checks to ensure it meets high standards of durability and aesthetics. Silicone Prosthetic Hands In South Korea, the creation of silicone prosthetic hands combines advanced technology and expert craftsmanship to provide both functionality and a natural look. The process begins with a detailed consultation where prosthetists like Kim Jong-hyun of Silobionic carefully listen to the patient's needs and take precise measurements. This step ensures the prosthetic hand will fit comfortably and perform well in daily life. Next, a mold of the patient's residual limb is created using plaster, capturing its exact size and shape. Today, advanced tools like 3D scanning and computer-aided design CAD, are also used to improve precision. Once the mold is ready, Focus shifts to the appearance of the prosthesis. Specialized devices match the silicone covering to the patient's natural skin tone, ensuring the prosthetic looks realistic and blends seamlessly. The hand itself is assembled with carefully designed components, such as fingers, joints, and sockets, that allow for improved movement. Innovations like multi-axial joints enhance flexibility, enabling users to perform everyday tasks with ease. Once assembled, the prosthetic hand is fitted, and adjustments are made for comfort and alignment. Continuous support ensures any issues are quickly addressed, keeping the prosthesis functional over time. This personalized approach restores not only mobility but also confidence, significantly improving the lives of amputees. Carbon Fiber Prosthetic Leg The creation of a carbon fiber prosthetic leg is a detailed process that blends modern materials with customized design for strength, comfort, and mobility. It begins with a thorough consultation where the prosthetist learns about the patient's lifestyle, needs, and physical measurements. Understanding these details ensures the prosthesis is perfectly tailored to fit and function well. The next step involves designing the prosthetic leg using computer-aided design, KD software. This allows for accurate alignment with the patient's anatomy. The socket, which connects to the residual limb, is crafted first. It is often made of thermoplastic, or composite materials, molded to provide a secure, comfortable fit. Carbon fiber sheets are then layered over the socket mold and infused with epoxy resin. This material is incredibly strong yet lightweight, giving the prosthesis durability without adding bulk. The carbon fiber structure is hardened in a curing oven, trimmed, and polished to ensure smoothness and prevent irritation. Once complete, the socket is integrated with other components like pylons and prosthetic feet selected based on the patient's activity level. The fitting process involves precise adjustments for balance and comfort. Rehabilitation follows, where the patient learns to walk confidently with their new prosthetic leg, restoring both mobility and independence. Animatronic Hand Thing The iconic animatronic hand from the Wednesday series. At the heart of the design is a framework of lightweight metal components paired with advanced servo motors. These motors are responsible for moving the fingers, enabling fluid, lifelike gestures that replicate natural hand movements. The engineers incorporated modern microcontrollers to manage the servo motors, allowing for complex motion sequences and precise control. Every gesture was carefully programmed to convey emotions and interact with the environment, staying true to the original portrayal of Thing. Achieving this level of expressiveness required thoughtful planning, as the hand had to communicate character and personality through motion alone. For the exterior, a silicone shell was crafted to replicate the texture and appearance of human skin. Special attention was given to even the tiniest details. Stitches, joints, and subtle textures were meticulously hand-painted to create a realistic and visually convincing finish. These careful touches brought the animatronic hand to life, ensuring it closely matched the on-screen version. The engineer's dedication to precision and realism resulted in a faithful recreation of Thing, showcasing an impressive blend of engineering innovation and artistic craftsmanship. Soft Silicone Baby Utensils The production of soft silicone baby utensils in specialized facilities involves careful steps to create products that are safe, flexible, and durable for infants. The process starts with selecting high-quality, food-grade silicone. This material is non-toxic, odorless, and free from harmful substances, making it safe for babies to use. To achieve the desired color and texture, the silicone is mixed with pigments and other additives, 
The mixture is blended thoroughly to ensure consistency. Once ready, the silicone is placed into molds shaped like spoons, forks, or other baby utensils. A process called compression molding is used, where the silicone is pressed under heat and pressure, allowing it to take the exact form of the mold. After molding, the utensils undergo a curing process, where heat solidifies and strengthens the material. The utensils are carefully removed from the molds to avoid damage. Any excess material, known as flash, is trimmed off to create smooth edges that are safe for babies. Each utensil is inspected for defects, size accuracy, and durability. Finally, they are cleaned, sanitized, and packaged in child-safe materials, ensuring hygiene and safety. This careful process guarantees that the utensils are reliable, comfortable, and ready for use, giving parents peace of mind. Kawasaki Duaro The Kawasaki Duaro is a dual-arm collaborative robot designed to work safely with humans in industrial settings. It features a horizontal articulated design with four axes per arm, enabling it to perform complex and synchronized movements. Available in two models, the Duaro 1 and Duaro 2, it offers versatility for tasks such as packing and assembly. The Duaro 2, for instance, can handle up to 3 kg per arm and has a vertical stroke of 550 mm, 